on officers of the National Security. The sand model simulation exercise for firefighters within the Greater Accra Region Command has ended at the regional headquarters at the last demonstration for the officers from four other fire stations. The regional commander, ACF-01, Roberta Agrigansen, said the educative exercise will enable the fire service to state to change or update their contingency plan. The five weeks sun model simulation exposed the officers from the various fire stations to the benefits of teamwork in an emergency. The various scenarios focused on a likely incident to occur within their vicinity. For the last batch, they were to assume that a bug road vehicle BRV carrying 53 tons of substance with identification number UN1075 was conveying the product from Accra and to be delivered at a sales outlet at Coffee Chrome in the central region. While negotiating a curve at KNT, a densely populated central business district, the BRV fell on its side, which buried the delivery outlet of the tank, making it impossible to siphon its contents. The driver and his mates got trapped in the vehicle, whilst a motorbike rider with a passenger and a driver of a saloon car were severely injured. The driver of the saloon car had a spine injury, while the passenger on the motorbike fell off and was unconscious. Due to the impact of the fall on the ground, the rear side of the tank had a defect, causing a leakage of the substance. This incident occurred in the peak hours of a working day where business activities were brisk, traffic was at gridlocks, and people were seen rushing to the scene. With the sun model, Tim Charlie was to assume it to be the incident's ground while performing the role as incidents respondents. Looking at the dense population of the area and commercial activities, how would the team handle the situation, play the role as the fire master control, and which agencies are they expected in the scenario, indicates the role of various agencies and logistical needs should the event be a protracted one. This has actually sharpened our mind so very much. It has taught us how to handle situations with care and it has taught us not to jeopardize with anyone's life because it is one of our core mandates to protect lives and properties. And anything in life is very paramount to us and to everyone as well. So this is of great essence and importance to us. We've learned a lot. The Deputy Director of Operations, DO1, Joseph Forsen, touched on the performance of the firefighters. In any major incident, the first 20 minutes is chaos, but they were able to manage the 20 minutes um, and then they call for assistance. Um, and again, in every major incident, there was what we call LIP, that is life safety, incident stability, and then property protection. That is what they did. Um, however, there were some gaps. With the corrections and updates of the firefighters, this the regional commander, ACF01, Roberta Agrigansen, believes it will ensure quality service delivery to the nation. All of them have done well. They are going back to do the needed corrections. And a day will be set aside for a real competition. And that is when that performance appraisal can be given. The batch five officers, known as Team Charlie, were drawn from the industrial area, Accra City Dansuman and Kolebu Fire Stations. The next exercise is expected to commence within the last quarter of 2023.